So, the Hello. quest for Connery, review yes. number 58. Yeah. And actually this one I'm, I'm quite excited about reviewing. <laughs> Why? Um, it's a film that as a child I was I was very a big fan of. I never saw it as a child. I had it on video, actually twice on video. Um, and yeah, I, I loved it as a kid. I really enjoyed it. And as an adult we rewatched it and found that perhaps we overestimated how much we enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I, I, it was that great. I was watching it. I was like, oh. What we like? What, uh, <laughs> and the film in question is First Night. Dur, dur, dur. There's a reflection in it. Actually, if you're an older person, a more mature person watching these reviews, my mum and dad love this film. Still love it. Um, so maybe it is more of a um, more mature person. It's not awful. Film. It's just. What do we give it? Four out of ten. Four out of ten. Yeah. Again. Uh, okay, basically, first night. Sean Corey is King Arthur, the legendary King Arthur. Um, Julia Orman portrays Guinevere, his young bride. Actually, a new twist in that I don't think they usually show King Arthur as being that old and her as that young. Yeah. Big sort of, what, 40, 50 She's years ago. Betrothed, 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 yes. Uh, but she actually does love him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then no, Richard Gere. Not like proper love, kind of like loves him in a sense that like she needs him to, to save her people. That's true. I think there's a bit of a love there. Oh, but there's the love, there's not passion. Passion. Is Lancelot. And then, of course, you've got the whole, yeah, the classic love triangle. You've, you've all heard about by it. Richard Gere. Richard Gere. I think one of the problems with this film is I don't massively like Richard Gere as an actor. Mm. Um, I don't think he's particularly compelling, uh, in a way. I think Sean Connery is very um, charismatic in this film. Yeah. There's quite a funny scene though with him at the altar. Oh yeah, there's one bit where Sean Connery is like, "Whoa!" <laughs> uh, which is hilarious. Um, okay, right. So, um, well, the main protagonist in this film is Malagant, who I'm pretty sure doesn't appear in any of the original folklore. P- portrayed by Ben Miller, um, who recently played Prince Charles in the made-for-DVD film William and Kate: The Royal Wedding. Did it? Oh yeah, yeah he, he did. Did he play Spock's dad in Spock's dad? Star Trek, the, the new the Star new Trek, one, 2010, yeah. 2009. Nine, I think it was. Um, what can we say? This film, plot-wise, uh, yeah, you standard. can easily follow it. It's kind of interesting. What? It's not I, that I, exciting. Don't, I don't think there's no real battles in it, is there? There's no, like, there's that bit where they go and storm. What's his name? Maglubber. <laughs> What's they go and fight Maligan, yeah. Maligan. Yeah. And it's, but it's not massively exciting. And, and I think what disappointed me was he didn't get to see Corrie doing any fighting. He's no. very much the elderly statesman. I mean, Lancelot, good at um, Richard Gere, gets swinging sword about, he shows off a little bit. But Corrie's more sort of like the old general directing the battle. It's just more of a romantic drama, isn't it? I really? don't think they... Ch- it's a PG. I think they, they, what could have made it better was like really like delve into the relationship a little bit more. Mm. Like into like how a relationship between someone that old and someone that young would work. Like be a little bit more oh. brave perhaps in a sense, yeah. And mm. really like um try and just challenge the issues. Sort out. Yeah, and Take like but, I mean a five team Sean Connery and Richard Gear. Okay, yeah, they, maybe maybe, maybe he could have done it, maybe he's not he's, he's too it's old. It's pretty awesome work. bit when Connery like it's like when Connery rallies his troops towards yeah. the end, I think. Well, it's even very then good. it's like just cut off. Yeah, I yeah. Connery again, as we've heard this before. Connery very rarely doesn't show great charisma. No. But this one he does. I, but I don't think Richard Gere is a, a strong enough leading man to, to go against Connery. It seems in a way. Well, wouldn't you choose Connery because okay, Richard Gere's younger, but where is <laughs> charisma? Do you yeah. mean? And Julia Ormond as Guinevere isn't anything special. I mean, she hasn't been on to do anything particularly of note. No, Maligan. Maligan Ben Malish isn't all right villain, mm. but it's very much the sort of standard. I'm evil. <laughs> There's no, there's no layers to the villainry in a sense. Why is he evil again? Because because Arthur wouldn't let him have enough power. It's, it's... kid stuff. Yeah. So and you can really see where it's going. You can, you know, she, you know, she's gonna end up falling in love with Cap- um, with um, Lancelot. Lancelot. And in a way, that's probably because they're, they're that's the story that everyone knows already. Mm. So yeah, they tried to do a different test. Oh, how is he directed by actually someone interesting? Jeffrey Jerry Zucker. Oh yeah. The guy directed an airplane, which seems a very odd. Twist. There's, there's, none of, there's none of like the strong visual comedy and um, sharp wordplay that you find like Airplane or you know the Naked Guns, which Jerry Jerry Zucker directed. So yeah, um, odd choice of director. Um, wow, well, that's pretty much everything. Four out of ten. Worst. It's a nice gentle. It's a Sunday afternoon film. Yeah, Sunday one of those afternoon. nice gentle films. Another one of Connery's Sunday afternoon. I've film. got a soft spot for it in a way because um, obviously I watched it as a kid quite a lot, but still I think it's a it's a happy four out of ten. Mm.